Hello, Mr. Amish. A warm welcome from all the Hamdardians. We are Thank honored you. to have you here today. Yeah, I would like to give brief introduction about Mr. Amish. He is a director, blogger, life coach, executive, and passionate learner. Amish has been relentless. Entrepreneur who leaves no stone unturned to make any venture a success. He is today working as director for one of the incorporation Coco Leaf Work Cafe Private Limited, whom he start started as a young solopreneur and today has more than hundred plus plus clients associated with a short span out of just two years. Amish has been instable with when it's come to learning to ensure that he accumulates the best of corporate knowledge, exposure, and pro professionalism. He also worked with one of one of the best four companies like EY and earned his early promotion as a senior associate. Again, within a span of just nine months, ensure that he is letting his creative, dynamic self up. He has today become one of the most bright upcoming YouTuber and a blogger that many young dynamites look up to. Many youngsters take him as an inspiration, guide, and support in a varied aspect of their life. When he coaches individuals, most of them come back and take him as their confidence. His efforts are well directed, focused, committed, and highly commendable. Just. As a young entrepreneur, he took like all had to go through several odds of life as some such that would have shaken and broken many. But he has been relentless and consistent in his effort. He has made up his mind that come what may, whatever the life may offer, but he will not give up. He's... Inspiration period was long and tiring, but then all he kept doing was accumulating all of his strength and learning during that tough time, and then came up with the results that were truly extraordinary. Instead of being frail and rough or weak, he rose to be an extremely strong, determined, courageous, successful, and most important, highly human being. He looked shy and introvert, but when he come. Up with his first blog, that was a super success. Since then, there has been no look back. People love his thoughts, his honesty, and his passion. He is real, original, and truly inspiring. His organization, Coco Wave Co-working, started as a startup, but today is a stop stop working place for not only all the young dynamic entrepreneurs like him, but also one of the most preferred working destination for many corporates. His clients includes many corporates like Info Edge, Magna International, ONGC, Continental Types, Diversity International, COAI, Taipa, RBI, PSUS, UPL, Salesforce, and also Upton professional like digital marketers, financial, CS, CS, IT experts, and the like. Today, he is a super successful and super inspirational blogger. Blogger, content writer, entrepreneur, director, motivational speaker, and an amazing life coach. His work speaks a lot better than my word. Although quite young his age, but is a highly informed and independent when it comes to a serving client and going an extra mile for them at any time. That come as one of the best secret that he make him so lovable and likable by all his clients. With HR and his specialization in masters, he has like natural blend of with people and identify the real good in them. He is extremely determined and focused yet highly flexible and and in any situation and take the best of it. Amish Amish has been invited by several organizations that include yet not limited to IT Bank. Telecom and infrastructure too, and one of the favorite miss most of the startups. Over to you, Mr. Amish. Thank you so much, uh, Nilufa. Was... Mr. Amish, you're muted. Yeah, yeah. I hope I'm audible now. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so much for the introduction and hi to 85 of probably you all who are new minds and are starting on with your life journey, life.
How are you guys? Are you guys excited? Yes, sir. I, I yes, sir. First, we are excited. Everyone is excited. excited. Yes, yes. So, okay. Yeah, uh, sir. They are responding. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would, I would always want uh, you guys to give in a lot of feedback and inputs. I want it to be an interactive session, not just a one-way session. I want free flow of communication from both sides, from my side as well and your side as well. So in case you guys have any questions, you are free to put it on the chat box. I'll answer them for you as and when I see them, I come across to them. Please do not unmute yourself uh, if there is no requirement. I hope this is good to start with and I hope everyone is settled now. So how is how is the day how is the day for yes, each one of you? You guys must you guys must That's be doing good. good, but uh most importantly here that like when you start with your journey of graduation and you're like okay fine uh, you've chosen to study bba from prestigious college like jamia university i've, I've studied myself from jamia manali man i have jamia and i did my masters i did my masters and i've studied uh, i was in the batch of 16 and it's it's just an amazing college uh, i am not here to boast about the college or about how and why you should probably be happy about your hair. All that you guys should mainly focus upon is extracting the most out of this time that you've got. This is a time which you might not even realize, but <clears throat> you will understand once you are there for your post-graduations post and you're like, I need to start off with either my MBA or MTech or anything you may choose further on. Anything. It even may be even uh, probably chasing your hobby. It even can be that. But most importantly, it is that when, once you have a good, strong uh, base work ready in terms of your graduation. So now this is the moment that you've got with yourself. All you can do is you can capture this. Some amount of fun and all is obviously required and that's always always a part of the college. That's even a part of the learning. How do you balance this? But yes, this is this is something that you'll get to know over the period of time. So what I have uh, thought about and the topic that I have probably thought to talk to you guys about is path to a new you. So the school days are over and I believe that all hundred out of you are uh, here for BBA, right? Quick responses. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Please do not unmute. You can write. You can write them. That. Yes, sir. Yes, that that will be yeah. much better. Yeah, please. You do not unmute and please write it in a chat box. Okay, so I have yeah, thank Rahim you. also. Over to you, sir. This MBA, thank you. This MBA as well and this BBMBA, okay. So even uh, as you start off with this journey of yours, that, okay, either you have just part, passed out of school or you've just passed out of your graduation. Either way, these are new embankments because once you've passed out just out of college, your graduation, you're now starting off with something which is going to make you more marketable. By marketable, I mean to say that why do you do MBA? You do not do MBA to satisfy someone else in your life probably. All you do MBA is for to become a better you, to be yourself marketable in the world outside so that you can find a job or if you have an entrepreneurial mindset, you can learn the tools, that in, tools and techniques to, to follow them to follow your passion and most importantly to be in the market and grow if you do not inculcate those values as per the requirements as per your own requirements and the zeal if you are probably not that motivated in like okay fine i'm going to college i'm attending college every day but college is so boring you have to yourself make it interesting you yourself have to probably devise some new methods to make the college life a bit more interesting 
fun and part always always stays constant that will never reduce that will always be there but most important here is what i'm talking to you guys about is that even when you're studying you're probably studying a small concept of probably johari window or probably mbti theory uh, by myers and briggs t- uh, personality types theory any one of them they may be why don't you guys dwell into dwell more into it and you guys understand a deeper insight that what does this theory indicate and how does it come to a conclusive evidence that okay fine either you are an extrovert or an introvert either you are an intuitive or you're not that ways it's very important for you to go in the deep in the in the most important background and the theory that okay i need to understand here that how do i grow from here and how do i take this in my learnings if you for each one of you a a pure and a genuine genuine feedback if you even attend your classes with all of your mind and concentration you'll actually not have any hassles for any of the exams plus even with that you'll actually be much much more easier off when you'll be appearing for your exams the concepts will be very very clear to you so do you guys all get that shahbaz is active i am receiving shahbaz's response almost always yes thank you thank you everyone so okay uh what one open question for each one of you what motivated you to join bba or mba why not any other stream of course and why do you think you actually joined this i would need responses here shahbaz it's a professional course alvin ideas money skill development managerial skills no responses please please do not sleep in my class it's not it's not that boring it's all just purely for your benefit okay so i have quite a few to talk about them uh, shahbaz says it's a professional course professional courses are even many more in number but why bba because it's a more holistic course in my opinion it covers a lot of dimensions and areas as compared to various other courses being offered alvin says ideas yes to an extent i'm just saying it because uh once your mind gets developed that much you can have newer ideas which can get flowing into your mind and you can get growing then money tells me skill development totally skill development not exactly this is not a technical course it's more of a managerial course since it's a managerial course and there's no set definition for management as you may know so it may help you only when you understand that how is it how can you collaborate or inculcate management in yourself so there's not skill this human behavioral development uh zaib i think this helps you as well and that says to be an hr and professor in the same stream later on okay that's that's quite a few that's quite futuristic but yes to be an hr yes hr has a lot of lot of scope and even it has a lot of benefits once it comes to body language analysis once it comes it comes to your own personal development understanding people understanding mindsets it helps a lot to grow up my family business totally that's one of the reasons always combination of many activities personal development to for that's a nice answer to for uh perfect okay uh, all of these responses are nice but to the last response which simran has sent in to create so much money by using skills and smart work uh simran just an input here there are approximately more than a million people who graduate and post graduate in bba or mba every year and 
how do you then how do you plan to differ yourself by those other million people so just a food for thought try to understand money is not everything and money is not sure shot guaranteed when you do something when you chase your passions at least don't think about money monetary sir i believe money is a power that i can do with whatever i want to do with money uh that's a that's an input but all i am trying to explain you here is that money is always a power for many many out of many out there but always remember that money when you either you can follow your passion completely or what you love or you can follow money the various techniques which by which you may help for money you'll be like okay fine that's not happening that much it doesn't help that much but at the end of the day if you actually see if you're with a totally a uh, mind which is not stable which you're in an unstable mind you're totally exhausted every every day uh, but you're going to bed with a lot of money you'll be like okay fine this is not helping me because if i'm not living a wholesome life money can no, cannot help you buy happiness at least so that way please this is just just so that's and, why i selected bb because uh, it inspires me to having so okay. much money okay to help others that the condition of the other country like syria okay. and the children are suffering from such a condition without food and uh, education so this inspires me a lot to do something like that it's a good okay 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 samran thank you okay so with this i'll move to my next bit i'll just uh, share my screen and i would talk to you guys about johari window first up sushant yes money can motivate you to do better but uh once you reach the self actualization stage in maslow hierarchy theory then you would not actually be so much concerned about money so if you uh, sushant have you gone through maslow hierarchy theory as well you haven't okay i'll just uh, give you a quick input as well post starting the johari window thank you so i hope the screen is visible to everyone here okay so see guys this is the johari window model uh the open area or arena the where it's known to self and known to others you know about yourself that you are very kind people know that you are very kind this can be your open area or arena this johari window model before i start before even i explain this is purely to make you understand that how do you even understand yourself if you do not understand yourself how will you probably know that okay fine these are my weaknesses i need to work upon these weaknesses or these are my positives i need to work on these positives or i'm totally 100% in these four as four aspects of life and these two need a lot of uh, improvement they are they are probably a 20% or 40% so johari window model helps you do that uh, before i come here uh, i need to tell Nilufa, there are a lot of people who are joining and joining and leaving, joining and leaving. Can you please uh, look for that? Are you asking something? Hello. Yeah, uh, I was saying that there are a lot of people who are joining and leaving the meeting. Yeah. So can you just uh, probably? So actually, leave? I'm having some uh, yeah, I'm having some network issues, so I can't able to listen to you. So can you just write in the chat box? 
okay yes sir if there's anyone who wants to leave the meeting please there's no hard and fast restrictions here you are free to leave it but i would rather suggest if you guys can at least take some inputs and then you can apply it to your lives it will help you be a better you for sure uh amish i would like to say something here i am dr shikha basically so yes. uh, there is uh, some students are logging from the mobile phones so it is yes. so sensitive that it sometimes uh, you take you are exited from that phone and device so here there is a to and fro moment in the uh, entry of entry and exit okay 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 yeah. sure sure no problem ma'am thank you Okay, so starting off with now the Johari window model, uh, it's visible to each one of you here. So first area is known to others, known to self. I explained this to you guys, and not known to self but known to others. So you don't know one aspect about your nature. So you might be impatient, but you might claim and you might say everyone know. i am i am very calm and i i do not lose my temper that way but you might be impatient so this this these all are hypothetical examples but this might be a blind spot in your in your personality analysis which you never realize it yourself so this is purely that you need to understand for this blind spot you need to take feedback from your peers that okay find what are the what is probably you think about me and just all you need to ask is that okay fine what do you guys think that how am i you can ask it in your acquaintance group or in your friends group either which way which suits you but yes blind spot is something that you can always work upon and hidden area or facade is you which is not known to others but which is known to yourself so you might have it in yourself that okay i am i am totally and i am very very uh in confident i don't know how to do something i know the answers in the classes but i am too afraid to raise up my hand to answer them or uh, probably i want i have some hidden hidden things about myself i don't want to reveal that to people because then i might be showed as a lower person in there and all that so this is your hidden area and it's always known to yourself so you can even realize it yourself that what is the main issue that you might have but you might not even realize it and something which cannot be worked in this johari window model is the unknown part which is neither which is known to you yourself nor which is known to others so either ways no one knows about it and that's always an unknown uh so slides are not visible either they're not imanshi they're not slides it's just one Uh, image that I'm trying to project here. Is it visible now? Now, yes. Okay. So, uh, Himanshu, do you want me to explain it again for you, or anyone else who's might who might not be clear? You guys have any questions, or you want me to explain it again? Okay, Laiba says yes, please. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I would want you to understand this between you and your best friend. That's the best example here. So it starts from the top left block, open area or arena. Are we on the same page, guys? is everything clear the video the video is clear the presentation sort of is clear okay so this is something open area or arena which is known to self and which is known to others so this is something that you know about yourself that probably hypothetically rahim knows that he is a very very polite person he he is very helpful by nature and that ways so this is something that what he portrays to people as well and what he knows about himself as well so is this clear can you guys relate to it uh there was 
himanshi was having an issue himanshi is it now clear laiba also rahim okay theek hai so now next is the second quadrant here which is the blind spot where you can see the cursor as well so the blind spot is something which is not known to yourself but which is known to others so you might hypothetically you might claim in your life that okay i am very very calm as an individual but you might be very impatient so this is a misconception that you have about yourself so you do not know it to your own self but people know this about you or z probably you can reconnect uh can you please check can you reconnect i hope then it will be better and so the blind spot area arena is basically focusing on that i know something about myself but main issue comes in that people do not understand people do not now this sadia who's presenting can you please stop sharing sadia can you please stop presenting please do not check out new features of google meet you can do it amongst your friends is it okay now all good now is it is the slide visible uh, there was ibrahim who said that sadia is presenting now is it good okay so now i am again explaining the blind spot arena to you this is something that you don't know about yourself but people know this about you so one example that i shared that you probably very impatient but you claim to be very calm so people know that you are very impatient so it is known to others here this known to others but not known to yourself so this is a weakness that you can probably work upon you can take feedback from your peers about it that what is the main issue that you might face and how can i improve that so is this clear is the blind spot arena also clear guys rain says yes super great 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 thank you so now moving on to the third fourth arena hidden area or facade this is our third arena we'll take this at the last hidden area or facade is which is something which is not known to others but which is known to yourself so by this so by this it basically means that you do not know people do not know about yourself you might have a lot of inhibitions in yourself that i i don't know how to approach to the teacher about a particular doubt they make might they uh, might make fun about it i know an answer in the class but i cannot uh, raise my hand up i've been through it i i was a person who couldn't uh, raise my hand through in my school time till probably what eighth standard ninth standard i knew answers but i couldn't actually ask uh, the teachers about it or answer the questions as well so this is a very very important area what we have to focus on within ourselves so no one tells you that please do not uh, please speak more please do more but no all that you need to focus is that what is it that you want to improve in yourself if you know about what you have to improve in yourself then you can obviously take it out of this hidden area or facade and you can move it to open area so your main target okay zaib understood okay so coming back here your main focus here should be to move the blind spot to the open area and to move the hidden area to also the open area and how can you guys do that uh, first of is hidden area also clear to everyone yes, yes sir 
Yes, great. So now, how can you guys move the blind spot to your open area and hidden area to the open area? It's purely that you understand that you have some weaknesses which you do not know, which is the blind spot. You can ask your peers about it and once they tell you, please do not understand this as criticism, as harsh, brutal criticism. It's only constructive criticism. If you take the criticism in the right manner, it will help you a lot and it will help you grow as well. So take the blind spot, move it to open area in a span of probably say three months. You know about you know something about yourself that now your peer has told you about that. Okay, fine. You're probably very rude. Or you're very, you're very harsh. You're very shrewd. Anything it may be. So you can make an effort and you can move this blind spot to your open area, and you're better there. Similarly, you know something about yourself already, which is there in the hidden area. I know I'm in confident. I know hypothetically. I know I'm in confident. I know I am probably not as good as my friend or my best friend and what then I need to do I need to take corrective steps and actions for this and I need to move this to the open area so your main target here has to be to move both of these the blind spot and the hidden area to the open area which will help you ease your things unknown is something which is totally unknown it's neither known to yourself neither known to others so we are keeping that aside and that's why even it's the darkest one here so this explains the Johari window model. Is it clear to everyone here? 105 people to be a prox. Any questions, yes, please sir. go ahead. Any questions, please go ahead. You can ask questions about anything about the Johari window model. Yeah, please write in the chat box. Any inputs, guys? Any questions about this? How do I implement it? What if my friend is too envious and they do not tell me about? They do not tell me just about it. Any any inputs at all? Any questions? Wake up, guys! It's still one hour for lunch. Don't sleep so early. <laughs> Who made this Just concept? Okay, Parveen is asking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Parveen, that's a, that's a nice question. I'll get back to you on this. Even I, I, I studied this when I was in my first year BBA. So I will come to this. How can we find about our blind spots? Mohammed Omer Farooq. Okay, Omer. I'll explain this again. Uh, please, I hope the connection is good with you. Blind yeah. spot, blind spot is something that, Omer, you do not know about yourself, but people know about this about you. So it may be any quality, it may be any problem, it may be anything that you can improve upon. It can be any of them, but this is purely something that you do not know about yourself. This is as clear that you might be very, very, very polite, but you are not very approachable. So in your body language, you might be very reserved or even in your body language, you might be a shrewd person only by your body language. But once someone goes to you and talks to you, they might, you might be very polite to them. So this is your blind spot and having feedback from people it can move to open area. I hope this helps you, Omer, now. Okay, Amir, uh, please explain open area one more time. Okay, so Amir, open area is something which you also know, which people also know. So if I am a very, if you, if I am a very talkative person, I know about, I know this about myself. You also know this about me. So it's known to everyone. It's known to self. It's known to others. You can... All, uh, all of you guys can relate these four quadrants with the X and the Y axis as known in maths earlier. It's known to self, not known to self, known to others, not known to others. So known to others and known to self is your open area. Not known to self, known to others is your blind spot. 
not known to others but known to yourself is a hidden area but none of them not known to yourself also not known to others also is unknown which you cannot work on i hope this helps you amir alvin asks me how can an average student improve himself alvin uh, constructively one thing pay a more pay the most amount of attention you can pay to your classes to your lectures the all the teachers who are there they are doing a very very tedious and a very thankless job they work a lot for you guys they make a lot of content for you guys all you can do is even if you just pay attention to their lectures trust me on it you will see drastic improvements in your academic scores if that's what matters to you the most i hope this helps you alvin uh afifa i struggle with confidence although my friends and family tell me i have nothing to feel insecure about for instance i'm not being able to speak publicly i get nervous and my voice shakes okay afifa uh, i am allowing you to unmute and reply me here that afifa if you understand that your voice might shake today and you even may get nervous but understand hypothet i understand in a holistic way that 5 years down the line what do you see yourself as an individual how much progression do you see in yourself if you want to see a 60% plus progression in yourself you want to be a totally complete changed individual you need to put in that extra effort personal experience here in 9th standard i couldn't even speak a word in front of my class when i graduated from amity i i addressed 4000 people for 4 minutes pure pure efforts pure efforts and pure coming out of your own fears and inhibitions now afifa i want you to tell me about tell me something about her um you, it's like <clears throat> um it's like you know i can like i i sing so i perform on stage so like i get very nervous and i know that i sing good but still i get so nervous and i start shaking and my voice starts shaking uh but i try to overcome that by performing more but i still am not able to overcome that i i totally understand that it's see this is nothing a 5 minute thing or uh probably uh, that i tell you take this pill and you'll be all confident and all gaga gaga no it's not going to help you that way it's something which is very constructively which has to be done S- small steps baby steps every day but yes eventually you will get there the all you need to do here is that you would always have some people probably two people three people four people who always have a lot of faith in you who always say that no i have a lot of faith in you you will excel you'll do amazingly well yes. you you're actually there mm-hmm. so you need to listen to them more and you need to do this for them even if not for yourself once you start doing it from for them then you'll be like okay fine i do not have any problems i can communicate at longer stretches i can talk for longer stretches on any any topics that you have and you can even sing it that way okay okay this is does this help yeah sort of i'll try it yeah do try and uh, you can always reach out to me if you need any help about it okay thank you no problem um it says yes sir thanks okay uh zaid asks me how to overcome hesitation while presenting himself or herself so zaid uh, overcoming hesitation is directly linked with uh, at least when you're overcoming hesitation while presenting yourself it is directly and purely linked with self confidence if you have self confidence in yourself that yes whatever i am doing whatever i'm saying is the right thing and i'm doing it correctly there's no flaw yes i might be wrong but eventually i am going to be okay so i hope that solves it that okay fine it it will take time i know it might take time but at least you need to be happy about yourself whatever that you've achieved over all these years and how are you coming off as an individual 
if you compare your old progressions with your current progressions that is it when you'll be able to map that okay fine in 10th i was this way in bb i am this way or in mb i am this way and how much of it actually traveled so i hope that this solves your question as well uh Rahim asks me, "How can we take people's criticism positively? Sometimes we feel so offensive." Yes, Rahim, we totally feel offensive. Just one thing: level yourself up one shade, and you will not get offended by anyone. You will get offended if you will directly take it to your heart, if you will directly take it to your own chin. But if you take it constructively, you you raise a level. And you uh, and you think about yourself that okay, fine. At least there's someone who's giving me actual feedback about me. How many people do you actually think in this world or ever ever tell their competitors that you're going wrong here? No one tells them. No one tells their best friends what are they messing with around. They don't until they want them to realize it and they come back to them. so it's very important to be very aware with your own self rather than waiting for people to come to you and once you're already receiving criticism you're already receiving feedback then all you need to do is you need to change your mindset instead of taking it negatively take it positively it's only and only for your own good even if they say something which is not okay i even I hypothetically, even I can get any feedback from any one of you today, but at the end of the day, if you guys ask something from me and I am unable to help you with a logical solution, that is something. If you, even if you guys don't point out to me, that's something which is inside me, and I know I have to improve myself. But if there is something that is totally baseless, someone tells me that okay, fine, uh, you couldn't even speak a word. I am like okay, fine. Oh, thank you so much. That's how your approach to life should be. You need to satisfy people. Just that okay, fine. Okay, thank you so much. Say this to everyone, but understand who's there for you. Who's there for you to rise, and who's there for you to decline. I hope this helps you, Rahim. Uh, Simran asks me, but sir, a lot of things that we know only reason behind reason. If I start to listen other, yes, Simran, this is what I talk about: is open, open, pure, open feedback. Only once you have open feedback in your system and in your daily life, at least when you're doing Johari window, then you can understand that how and why can I improve. If I if I am so close to an individual, I don't want to listen to people. I don't have hypothetically. I I'm I am not there on any social media because I can't listen to people. What are they saying about me? Everyone everyone has criticisms criticisms around. Everyone has haters around. It's just that how do you inculcate them and how do you take them on your chin? I hope this helps you, Simran. Uh, Alvin says me. So can you explain it again? I'll be explaining it three to four times. I will explain it again. Okay. Uh, when he says, "I want to improve my communication skills," when you start talking to yourself, you'll automatically improve your communication skills. You'll have no issues. Sit to yourself. Write about things. When you write them, speak about them. You will automatically improve about your communication skills. Sir. सर सिमरन सर आपने जो बोला कि लोगों की फीडबैक लो बट लोग उस तरह से चीजें बोलते हैं कि हम अपने आप को भूल जाते हैं कि हु वी आर सो पॉजिटिवली किस तरह से लें क्योंकि हम कोई चीज करते हैं कि नेगेटिव लोग नेगेटिव वर्जन देखते हैं उसका पॉजिटिव लोग पॉजिटिव बट वी नो एज वेल की वट द रीजन फॉर वट पर्पज वी है पीपल्स एज पॉजिटिव because they always talking like I know. every time i know i know so simran what you can do here is that you can understand ki i if you need to understand people you need to have your mindset open ki jo bhi wo bolega main lungi chahe wo jo bhi bole even if he saying utter nonsense take it because it 
if not your it will show his weakness if there's someone who's an excellent excellent presenter and if someone else goes who's a critic of him he goes to himself he goes to him and he says ki what what bad presentations you gave you don't even have good slides prepared you don't have good content prepared what are you even giving the other person who knows who proclaims that yes i am an excellent presenter he will never ever feel offended he'll be like okay fine sir is instead of uh, speaking this that uh, kya kiya tune koi acha presentation hi nahi hai agar ye bole better try you can do more better for this performance from this performance is performance ke baad tum aur acha kar sakte ho ye motivation hogi logo ki but uh, jo expectation thi lekin uske jagah ye bolenge ki क्या yes. किया कुछ भी नहीं था इसमें कोई तो ये तो मैं सर ये हो गया कि हमारा कॉन्फिडेंस लूज ही कर दिया बिकॉज बिकॉज सिमरन आप uh, उनको इतनी पावर दे रहे हो कि वो आपको इफेक्ट करें इफ यू डोंट गिव दैट मच ऑफ पावर टू पीपल इफ यू डोंट गिव दैट मच ऑफ एन इन्फ्लुएंशियल स्टेचर टू पीपल देन दे के नॉट डिस्टर्ब योर पीस एंड दे के नॉट डिस्टर्ब योर मेंटल स्टेट ऑलवेज ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस इफ you cannot ever ever control what the other people says you you also know about this simran right any each one of you you guys can never control what the other person has to say all you can control is your own mindset and how do you take it sometimes we even feel offended by the same thing which we did not feel offended earlier why purely because of mindset purely sometimes when you are in a calm state of mind and you are totally peaceful you will not get offended by anything what people say but at times they say you the same exact line but you will feel so offended you will actually be like oh no i can't take this anymore so it's purely purely about mindset you cannot control people you cannot control anyone around you all you can control is your own self and your own mindset so i would suggest about your own mindset instead of listening people i am following my paragons the role models so they teach me much than other people who told me yes so this is the solution i found with my own mm -hmm. and i believe it's good the things uh, they inspires me to do things like this just like cristiano ronaldo i'm talking about Mm -hmm. He inspires me. What the work he has done, the play, the skills, this thing inspires me. So I learn from them, not to the people who talking about bullshit. Okay, okay. So Simran, if you've already made, so if you have a role model like Cristiano Ronaldo, who's someone who's a pioneer in soccer and who's one of the best, he also has criticisms every day. You know. you understand that he has a lot of yes sir yes sir messi he, he has a lot of messi fans who troll him every day and how does he overcome them he just doesn't does not pay any heed to them the way any any sports person rises is the most beautiful thing that you can actually understand about them so if i hypothetically yes sir i know i know i know this criteria that they are also facing totally. the women are also facing the everyone and... everyone faces Yes. Everyone faces. So I hope this is good with you, uh, Alvin. I'll explain it again. Give me five minutes. I'll just first quickly go through all the questions that we have. Yes. Uh, Vinay, I want to improve my communication skills. Pure, pure talking to yourself. Write it down and talk to yourself. You will improve your communication skills. Uh, Shahzad, Shahzad, develop confidence in our voice. once you have good communication skills you will obviously have confidence in your voice because you know voice modulation you cannot and you should not talk on a flat pitch if i come here and i tell you hi everyone today i'm going to talk about how to discover your own self my name is amish it's so boring it's because it's a flat it's a flat pitch tone only once you have confidence you can modulate your tone what word needs more of a stress and what word does not need so that way is how you can understand it uh okay 
Laiba says, as Kapil sir talks about motivation, but there are some people who used to do motivators continuously because of them we lose our confidence level. So how to handle them? Beautiful and a very, very, very common question here. Laiba, something which almost everyone faces, but they do not say it. Why I am saying this? Because term the other people as noise. Term the other people who demotivate you as pure noise. Once you turn them as noise, you don't want to hear noise which disturbs you, right? So they are always segregated from the lot that you are turning them as noise. And here to people who say that I have a lot of faith in you, one statement. I know you will excel well. Second, you are an amazing person. Third, these are power statements which immediately boosts your self-confidence and your self-worth. So if you understand something like this, it will help you a lot. So Laiba, purely, purely, just don't listen to the noise which is there around you. Focus on the good and focus to improve yourself continuously. They will stop speaking because they'll get tired of speaking bad. Always understand this. Okay, Nilufa, I hope this solves you. You're absolutely right as well. Uh, yes, sir. Kulsom asks me how to stay away from distractions. Now, as we all are going to join college normally soon, we'll be away from home and family. And many things that will distract us, how to keep ourselves away from any kind of distractions and focus only on our goals. Kulsom, uh, once you'll be away from your family, Yes, it will be initially tough, but understand that what is your main motive? Why have you come here for? You've come here to study. You've come here to make your family members proud. Once you understand that, automatically your focus gets realigned and you come to your studies focus. Always understand that you need to align your focus with your distractions in a balanced state. If you have a lot of fun and you don't study, you'll not be able to do something either vice versa. If you have a lot of studies, you're totally, totally a nerd, you're totally a geek, but you do not have any fun, It's it will not be the best time of your college life. Learn to balance both of these and understand that what will actually help me five years down the line, five by five rule. If it's not going to matter you in five years, don't spend more than five minutes thinking on it. A very common rule, but a very important rule which everyone forgets. So this is something which is very important. I hope this solves your question, Kulsom. Mohsin, um, I have problems with communication with new people. What can I do? Mohsin, that, that totally means that you are an introvert and you're not an extrovert. You might be an ambivert, but all you need to understand here is that once you start talking to new people, you will get more insights about life. Why are you closing on in such an such a tender age? You're probably 18 between 18 to 24. And why do you want to stop communications between this age? People who are actually hungry, they learn for years. I did my master's from Jamia in 2018 and now I'm doing law as well. So learning never stops, criticism never stops, feedback never stops. Keep on hearing everything and keep on moving forward. Don't, don't restrict your communications. Communicate with more people, understand more people, and you'll obviously start growing. Uh, Tabish says LeBron James, Leonard, and Donkey. Yes, these are also the, all, all pioneers of their industries. Serena Williams, this Roger Federer, this uh, Rafael Nadal, all different industries, there's Virat Kohli from India, this who's an inspiration for many, many youngsters out there. So many people are there. Uh, Kausar says, sir, is overconfidence lost to achieve goal? Uh, Kausar, can you explain your question once, please? Yes, sir. Sir, I, I want to say that is overconfidence lo lost to achievement goal? That's, I um, mean, sir, कि चलो आज मैं ये कर लेता हूँ ये कर लेता हूँ मतलब एक गोल हमारा रहता है कि आज दिन में ये करना जैसे कि हमें स्टडी करना एक सावर 
ठीक है तो ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस होता है चलो यार सब कुछ आज कर लेता हूँ दो ही घंटा में तो ये ये हमारे लिए अचीव जो हमारे जो टारगेट रखते हैं वो लूज कर सकते हैं क्या हो सकते हैं जो व्हाट कौशल यू आर सेइंग हियर इज कि मैं दो घंटे में सारा सब कुछ याद कर लेता हूँ रादर देन एक घंटे में एक चीज याद करता हूँ सो दिस इज हंगर फॉर मोर दिस इज हंगर फॉर ग्रीड दिस इज नॉट ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस और गोल अचीवमेंट have realistic goals which you can achieve if you don't have realistic goals how will you achieve them if i say today that i want to come in the forbes top 50 list i cannot why because i know i cannot it will not help me it will help me become more demotivated it will keep me more stressed it will keep me more distressed i i instead of climbing the ladder i'll either be stagnant or if i'm weak i'll start to fall down so understand and create goals which are achievable and focus on quality rather than quantity if you will focus on more quality that okay fine even if i spend one hour on one technique and i am i am able to take it totally that's a win win situation for you okay and laiba says great laiba ulsom great chazil yes so everyone's questions have been done at least for this uh there was alvin who wanted me to explain it again i'll explain it again to him just quick 5 minutes so alvin is the screen visible great alvin uh very openly understand open area known to others known to self you know about yourself people know this about you any quality any any quality of yours everyone knows about it you know about it your friends know about it your family know about it blind spot is something that you do not know about yourself but people know this about you so what does this mean that i do not know that i am very polite but people know that i am polite this is something that you don't know plus only when you have a blind spot you can start to value yourself more because it would if it is in positive sense are you are you understanding here alvin specifically you great so blind spot is something that you do not understand this about yourself but people know this about you so how do you work on this you take constructive feedback from people constructive criticism from people and you move the blind spot to open area hope this solves blind spot now hidden area or facade is something that people don't know about you but know you you know about about this on your own so like someone is asking me that how can i improve communication skills purely this means that they do not know that they know that they are not good with communication skills this is known to themselves but this is not known to others i hope this solves it I hope Alvin, uh, all these three quadrants are clear. Great. Last quadrant is something which is not known to yourself also, not known to others also, which is known as a dumb quadrant. So don't, you don't need to pay attention to this quadrant at all. I hope the now Jawari window is clear to everyone here. Great, great, Alvin. Okay. A quick two minute. Water break. If every if anyone has to go to the washroom and if anyone has to go to drink water, a quick two minute break. That's it. Nothing more than two.
Are you guys back? Or you guys are still on a break? Is everyone back? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Super responses here. Good involvement. Last 30 minutes. Please do not diverge here or there. Stay focused. We're almost there. And with this, on a particular topic, can you give some examples of power statements? Surely, surely I will. Uh, how to be a good listener and observer as a youngster that feel that I'm really low at listening. Okay. Okay. Uh, more questions. Ask up all the questions that you guys have because I have quickly to cover one more thing here and then I'll come to your questions. So you can you guys can write your questions till then all of them okay while you guys are coming up with questions i have a quick technique here to understand that how can you how how do you probably come to a new you so these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight steps. I don't have, I do not have, con I, it's all by my brains. So g these are just quick contents here. First is your past. You understand what is your past been about? What has been the negatives there? What have been the positives there? And how do you plan to overcome them now? So first part is your past. Part two is differentiate. How do you plan to differentiate yourself with the other million people who are probably graduating or post-graduating in the next two years? How do you plan to differentiate the old you with the new you? Because this is a path to finding a new you. So this is another thing. Third thing is seeking meaning. If I am doing something and I don't have a focus about it, how am I going to do it? I not have meaning to it. So these three things, any questions, anything that you guys could not understand, these are very basic but important questions. Responses. Don't sleep guys, come back. What happened, guys? Am I not audible? Kashish Farhan, Mashod. So you are audible. Then what has happened to everyone? I explained these three uh, pointers first up. Your past, differentiating and seeking meaning. Did you guys understand this? Great. If you guys understood this, then that's really great. Fourth is, what do you want? I want to be a better individual or I want to grow rich I or I want to do something which is very different but which satisfies me as an individual. What do you want exactly? Have your need analysis clear. Then only you can help to grow up. Fourth is your Fifth is your personal power. You know about yourself. You know that how do you actually rise. You know that what is your inner power. Then only you can help and move that to the next level. You can shade up yourself or you can move up the ladder. The most important here is another personal power. Next is inner critic. You guys might not understand this, but yes, just an insight. Criticize your own self for the decisions you take or what you do. Laiva, I'll, I'll, I'll take all the questions. Keep on jotting them down. I'll take all of them together. So here, inner critic is something that criticizes your own self that what are the issues that you are facing? What is something that uh, I probably hypothetically 
you get something new you get a new mobile phone or you get a new laptop or you get probably a new desktop anything a new tablet and you're like why did i get that was it even required once you start criticizing yourself you'll become more rational you'll get more rational about things and you'll understand that how can you be a better rational person here okay with this next is that compassion and generosity most important here is guys that you need to show compassion for yourself not for people you need to be a bit more patient and you need to be self loving enough to give yourself time and then rise slowly and steadily if you do harsh on yourself you'll not be able to achieve things you'll not be able to get the most out of things you need to start moving up slowly and steadily and how is that going to happen you need to be more considerate and more loving about your own self do do keep this in mind last is the value of friendships so friendships play an important role in both whether they you have to level up or whether you have to dwindle down friendships help you in both the ways all you need to understand with this is basically how can you grow up and how can your friends be a stepping stone for your success by this why am i saying this is because your friends always might not be happy towards you they might not be very helpful towards you they might not be very satisfied with you but there are a lot of friends who always give you good criticism good criticism they want to see you get better they want to see you grow and that is why this is going to help you as well so these eight points do they help you are they clear anything that is not clear responses guys we'll quickly wind this up if you guys respond quick here and not very slow sir atufa is asking something no questions i'll He's come asking to. how yeah. to choose the right people yeah questions i have a lot of questions here i will come to all the questions at the last right now i am asking about these eight okay. things that are these are these at least clear to you guys yes majority who responded are saying clear and everyone is saying clear yeah yeah sure. okay so now uh, this is something getting to your new path being a new person path to a new you mainly with this i covered johari window as well and now i can come to the questions uh for someone who asked me who made johari window there's a uh, joseph luft who came up with the concept of johari window i answered that in the chat box and now alvin asks how can you go deep into your study you can go deep into your study by more research by referring to more research material if there is one topic which interests you the most go go deep into it get more content this google you can understand a lot of stuff through google get a lot of understanding through google only for your content mainly and most importantly be with your teachers and under, and your teachers will help you a lot because they all of them are phd's they've done a lot of research in mm. the respective niche areas if your niche area is the same as theirs you're all sorted i will okay and uh, on a particular topic yes alvin that is there atufa uh, can you give examples of power statements power statements are statements which immediately help you boost your mind and state of mind some of them you are amazing today and you will do well you will rise take this decision and you will conquer it keep working hard success is almost there these are some quick examples of power statements which always start with you and as soon as someone says you 
you get that sense of responsibility and understanding that yes you have to grow here uh for her that's me how how to be a good listener and observe as a youngster i feel i'm very low at listening so farhan a uh, good listener as good listener and observer is purely purely linked with calmness if you're calm as an individual get more calm get more understanding and once you're calmer you'll be able to understand that yes you will be a great great listener no doubt about it and you will you'll be able to understand between the lines as well that will help you be a good observer as well kashish uh, how can i improve my personal development kashish what uh, aspect in personal development there are a lot of aspects in personal development write it down in the chat box i'll come to your question again down then uh, shahzad how can i think positive because whenever i want to think something good there's some negative thoughts which come into your mind yes shahze that's very common that's very normal but oh, how can you become positive is purely purely by thinking better things in life rather than focusing on the negative everyone's life moves in a systematic way in which the positives will always and always outshine the negatives if there is no hope left think about the parents who invested day in and day out to be a better you make the best Uh, your yeah, sorry your voice is yeah. voice voice is breaking can you just write it down in a chat box uh so shahze i hope you you can write it in the chat box i'll come to your question again then yeah i am rahim is saying there's a folder on your desktop named as be more balanced how can we be more balanced in different situations okay rahim uh, other than this other than speaking motivational speaking i am a content creator as well so i have my youtube channel i'll probably share the link here you can there's a video there of be more balanced which can help you get an insight that how can you be more balanced so you can go through the video uh laiba sir tip for being a center of people laiba please explain your question i'm not able to understand this you can speak laiba hello sir actually my question is ke sabke center uh, be uh, be a leader type okay so laiba being a leader is someone who's exorbitant and who has a lot or lot lot of self confidence point 1 second they can vouch for their decisions if i if i am uh, the leader and i take any decision which even may backfire i can vouch for it and i'm like at least in confident and raring to go with it so these two things will help you be a great leader being a center of people is not going to help you do not do not be center of people you're not here to please people you're not here to gain more popularity amongst people it will not help you most important here is to be a leader if you have said it that way okay okay thank you so much sir thank you uh how abdullah is asking how can we make mba more effective in our two years for corporate sector uh, abdullah take one niche area and focus the most on that niche area once you focus the most on that niche area you will be able to grow up with there and then only you will be able to focus on the corporate sector start if you are looking for a corporate sector then you mean that you probably mean about getting a job and all that to get a job to get an understanding most important here is that create create a huge knowledge bank about everything not just confined to books not just confined to five topics 10 topics you should have a good idea about everything that's happening around you everything plus create a good linkedin linkedin does help to get jobs so create a good linkedin profile for abdullah uh, laiba is asking how can we find our personal power personal power we can find by introspection only you introspect you sit down in a state of mind which is the most comfortable sit down and understand that what is the most important area that you have in yourself 
which is the best so yes your personal power has to come from within you only on only through introspection nothing else and anama hussein is asking best personality traits for an hr professional okay uh, an hr professional should have should be an extrovert should be a sensing kind of a person should be feeling and should be perception based this comes out to i just write the narration down for you e s f p this is from the mbti personality types you can uh, study more about this and understand this more uh Kausar Hussain, everything, everyone says time is money, sir. Do you think? Uh, you can earn back time, but you cannot earn back money, Kausar. So, sorry, you can earn back money, but you can't earn back time. So, time is something which once gone, once lost. Even when you go to go, probably you're twenty six years old. You've completed your post graduation as well. you will always and always want this college time to come back this probably the stress free life and a lot of happy things but you cannot get that back so it is not that way at least in my opinion atufa is asking how to choose the right people atufa you can choose the right people purely and purely by getting more perceptions about people and vibes by vibes i mean to say what people do and getting more of an intuition from people what are they up to what decisions do they take and then you will be able to have a mindset that how to choose the right people and there is some fair okay thank you Confidence and make better decisions in class. How can we choose specialized subject for MBA? Uh, Rahim, you can choose specialized subject for MBA only and purely by what is your interest. If I did my uh, bachelor's majoring in human resources, but I did my master's majoring in marketing, so I covered both the aspects here. so for you if you want to do something which is one way and which is having you probably interest the most then choose that one thing and work for it uh fazal is asking how can we become a good listener becoming a good listener is purely purely through patience and accepting good criticisms how can we concentrate on study is purely to understand more and take the most of your lectures trust me on it jamia has i'm vouching it for i'm vouching for it jamia is one of the best best lecture teachers best teachers in many many colleges out here in delhi and cr so if you come to jamia you've made the right choice just attend the lectures and you'll have a very very fruitful time here uh atofa sir thank you okay one problem i think too much shaze that's a problem with many people they think too much they are overthinkers but overthinkers are also great observ- observationary people so i think there's something problem that you might overthink but even there's a positive that you are an amazing an amazing observation you have an amazing observational power think about this when a what is the scope of mba in international business all all a, mba has scope in everything uh it's on you that how do you want to apply it and you want to take it take out of it calmness labor is it a question calmness Uh, is doing part time in digital marketing company such as Vestige Goodwill will help me to write these things. Ah, Shabazz, 
for your question i am mentioning my email id give me a ping and i can probably you can probably post up your question on my email id i'll research about the company and i'll get back to you on this surely so this way it will be better i've mentioned my email id here uh kashish how can i improve my personal development and confidence and make better decisions kashish you can improve your personal development and confidence these are two different questions taking better decisions is purely linked with experience take decisions don't be afraid even if they backfire you will get a scope to learn you will understand more you will learn and you will grow with it and personal development is purely purely linked with your own self in confidence so once you gain more of confidence once you uh, come off the inhibition you've been in once you come out of it it will help you be a more more confident individual and you will see the development in yourself there and then any more questions here guys any any more questions okay great uh so i have mentioned my email id here if any one of you have any questions you guys want to get in touch with me uh you're most welcome you can ping me on my email id and i would be happy to help you guys all the very best make the most out of the time and you will you will have a lot of success yeah thank you mr ramesh for giving us such a pre precious time I do appreciate you. Thank you for sharing your experience with us, with your valuable speech talk. Thank you, each and everyone, for joining here, and thanks.